Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going over uh, the event farming guide for all the legendary characters. As you can see on the screen, here are the legendary characters, and we will go individually, each by each, on uh, the characters needed to unlock these characters. And I will give uh, a rundown of the characters that I would go for or farm for, and the characters and the legendary characters that I would go for first if I were to start over or what I would strive for first. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The first, we're going to go in order that they were released. Iron Man was a legendary character, but now that he is available, uh, whenever you have the, the, the shield characters at five stars, six stars, seven stars, I'm not going to include them. Uh, real quickly, uh, uh, Iron Man requires shield characters, so Captain America, Quake, all the minions, Nick Fury, you can use that. We're not going to go too in-depth on that, but let's go ahead and go through uh, who's, who's required for Star-Lord. Okay, on the screen, as you can see, are the characters that you need to unlock Star-Lord. Um, what I'll do is I'll go over the characters that I use to unlock them, and then I'll do a recommendation. Um, so the characters that I use to unlock him, unlock him and he's at seven stars, is Drax. Yondu, Gamora, Ravager Stitcher, and Ravager Boomer. Ravager Stitcher and Boomer are these two down here. I know my text isn't loading. Sorry about that. Um, so Drax was in the arena store. Uh, Yondu was a two-node farm. Gamora was a was in the Blitz store. Ravager Stitcher's in the raid orbs. And Ravager Boomer's in the Blitz store. So um, those were just the easiest for me to get. Ravager Stitcher was in the raid store before Rocket Raccoon was, so I was able to get him quicker. Um, so if I were to start all over, the characters that I would go for would be Rocket Raccoon and Ravager Stitcher. They're both in the raid store. What I would do for that is I would go for raid orbs. Uh, it's a better deal than uh, going for individual characters. Um, and the raid orbs, I believe, have... There's 14 characters currently as of October, late October uh, 2019. Uh, out of those 14 characters, six of them can be used for legendary events or are required for legendary events. So I would just go for orbs. That's almost half of the characters. Um, and you get nine character shards per 900 credits you spend compared to five for 1100 or 1400 and there's some there's a little bit extra on, added on to those but i would just go for those two go for you know with your luck you'll probably get them it depends on your uh alliance as well if they're doing raids pretty consistently or not and then the other three i would recommend is mantis uh boomer and gamora those three are all in the blitz store the blitz store is the easiest store to get through um what I would recommend is I would recommend going for individual characters. Some would recommend uh, just going for orbs. I would say go for individual characters. Uh, the reason for that is uh, it requires to, uh, to take from zero to maxed out seven stars. It takes 810 shards. If you have a character in the Blitz store that you're trying to max out it and you get them every refresh so you can get up to 15 shards a day it will take you 54 days to max out that character it's really not a lot especially when you start getting blitz orbs and the premium orbs and the other the uh red regular date like one of those orbs um so yeah i would go for those i think those will be your best you sh you can get drax from the arena store if you are able to i would go for him i guess but i would not and, and my recommendations are not the best characters. The best characters are obviously Drax, Groot, uh, Rocket, Mantis, and maybe Gamora or Yondu. Um, but this is just the quickest way that I would say to do it. And Star-Lord should be one of the first uh, legendaries you unlock just because it is pretty easy to get these characters. Um, so yeah, on the screen you should also see just where everybody else is located. Groot is in a node, uh, Ravager Bruiser is in a node, and Yondu I believe I believe he's in one node. I'm not sure. He might be in two nodes still, but I'm pretty sure he got moved down to one. So that's just the easiest um, and quickest, I believe. Uh, if you get a couple red stars on on the characters that you're using, it, you should get through it pretty easily. Ravager, Bo Boomer, and Stitcher. Uh, I'm at a point now in the game, and I've been playing since Global Launch. I'm free to play. I'm at a point now where I am. I almost have all the blue gear on every character. When a new character comes out, I get them up to tier 8 and can fill them out with all blue gear. I would do that with Ravager, Stitcher, and Boomer. You could probably get away with tier 7, tier 6, depending on how good your Rocket is or how good your Gamora is. Um, again, it's it's wholly up to you, but if you want the quickest way, you know, you want an easy way to get to put in the minimum and get Star-Lord, I would say Ravager, Boomer, Ravager, Stitcher. Just get them up to tier 8 really. And then Mantis and Gamora and Rocket. Rocket take to whatever. You should use 
rocking and get him up because he's great in raids. He's great in all sorts of stuff. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for Star-Lord. We're going to move on to the next character, and the next character is Nick Fury. So on the screen right now, we have Kree Minions, and that's who you will use to unlock Nick Fury. Um, we'll go through it real quickly. Uh, Kree Noble, the one on the left, I know the text is not loading. We have Kree Noble, Kree Royal Guard, Kree Royal Guard, Kree Reaper, Kree Oracle, and Kree Cyborg. Kree Noble is in a node, uh, in two nodes. Kree Royal Guard is in the Blitz store. Kree Reaper is in two nodes. Kree Oracle is in the Raid store slash Raid Orb. And Kree Cyborg is in two nodes as well. So, so each of the nodes have two node farms. Um, these are the only characters you can use to unlock them. Uh, Kree's pretty decent now, so it's not really too bad of an investment to level them up. Um, again, the, these, I really have not put any more work into them, uh, other than what's done right now, and this got me Nick Fury. Uh, obviously, if you want to do less, you can definitely get away with it. Um, it just depends, especially with Kree being decent now. Just throw them on Alliance War Defense, or, you know, you can, you can use them places, or use them in Blitz. So I really don't think it's too much of a bad investment to get them up a little bit. Uh, especially if you're having trouble with the Nick Fury event, but I don't think you will really. Um, on the screen, you should see popped up where they're where uh, where they're located. Um, really, nothing much else to say. Again, I would go f Royal Guard. Go for him directly. Don't go for the uh, don't go for the Blitz uh, Orb because you'll get those naturally. But you don't have to listen to me if you don't want to. You can do Blitz Orb. I just think I just think. Get, knowing what you're getting and spending the extra 100 credits or 200 credits is worth it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Kree Oracle, use Raid Orbs, and then everybody else, Node Farm. So um, that's it for who who's Nick Fury requires. Let's move on to Magneto. To unlock Magneto, uh, you can either use Brotherhood characters or X-Men characters, uh, mutants, all mutants except for Coloss or uh, Juggernaut, who's a mystic character. I don't know if that's... I don't know x-men lore that well i'm pretty sure he was mutant but i could be wrong um but as you can see here are all the characters you can use you can use phoenix to unlock magneto if you really want to wait around for that um but the characters that i would recommend for uh, unlocking magneto uh and what i use he's currently at six stars for me um so the characters that i use are juggernaut wolverine mystique pyro and Sabretooth. um these will be the characters that i use as you can see my uh my pyro is uh 23 shards away from 300 i'm using getting him out of the alliance war store um that's who i would recommend out of that store first and then maybe nobu or maybe carnage depending on how you feel about that but um i would definitely say if you're new to this game and don't know where who to start with i would start with pyro um but uh something about juggernaut that i want to make a note of is juggernauts from the arena store uh i would try and keep your arena farms similar to your uh the f the character that is the lowest so there's multiple stores uh there's multiple characters there's multiple legendary characters that require characters from the arena store so what i would recommend is i would try and keep whoever your lowest because you're going to get arena done before you get your nodes done most likely if you were to start with one character out of the arena and one character out of, the, out of node farms you'll get arena done third first you should at least um so basically, I would just try and keep your arena uh, at the same level as your lowest node farm. Um, so as you can see, my Juggernaut is actually slacking on my Pyro. Um, but that's because I, I kind of put Juggernaut to the side to farm Vulture so I could get uh, Invisible Woman the first time she came around. But um, well, let's just go through everybody real quick. Um, that was just an arena side note. Uh, so Phoenix, she has her own legendary event. You can get it from that. Uh, Juggernaut, I almost want to say Colossus. Juggernaut, you can get from the arena store. Wolverine, you get daily shards. So that's, uh, there's a maximum. If you log in every day, there's a maximum amount of days it will take you to unlock Wolverine. I don't know that number off the top of my head, but uh, I would use him. Uh, Mystique, she is in the villain node. And I would recommend her over Storm, who has her own, who has her own node, because Mystique is... Uh, you you should get through the villain campaign before you get to the mystic campaign and that's where storm is so that's why i would go for mystique over storm just because of availability um and then pyro's in the war store Sabretooth is in the raid orb slash raid store storm has her own node and colossus and psylocke are not yet farmable i'm assuming they'll probably be farmable pretty soon and we'll see if one ends up in the blitz store that's who i would go for um and change i would always recommend using blitz character blitz store characters 
over node characters or all that stuff because there's a lot of characters that require nodes. Um, so again, what I'm using and what I re would recommend are the same. Uh, Juggernaut, Wolverine, Mystique, Pyro, and Sabretooth. Uh, my Juggernaut is tier 13, so the next time Magneto comes around, I really should not have no issues with that. But I would just say if you get them to tier 9, a few red stars, you should be fine. Uh, Brotherhood's not a bad team to invest, especially with the new Marauder tag coming um, for Mr. Sinister. Mystique and Sabretooth, if you got them leveled up, they'll still be pretty solid as well. Um, again, you can wait to wait to get Phoenix done before you go for Magneto. That's just a character, and you'll get through that event a lot easier, too. I didn't really have too much issue. I had to put a little bit more resources into um, my characters when I was going for the six star, but it wasn't it wasn't too bad. It took me like I just took put a little bit of like a level up on each one, so it wasn't too terrible. Um, again, Mystique over Storm just because you should be able to get her sooner than Storm, and then try and keep your Juggernaut with your Mystique or with your Storm. Uh, the only reason why my Mystique is just far above Pyro, or, you know, keep, again, keep your arena character with your lowest event farming character. Um, so that's it really for Magneto. Um, the next character we're going to go over is Shuri, and she uh, kind of ties into Invisible Woman, or really does tie into Invisible Woman, but we'll go over Shuri real quick as well. On the screen right now is the Spider-Verse characters, and these characters are used to unlock Shuri. How does that tie into Shuri? N no way. But these are what's required, so these are what you should go for. Uh, I think everyone nowadays would recommend, don't worry about Spider-Verse, do Sinister Six. The Sinister Stick, the like Six. Sinister Six are Green Goblin, Rhino, Vulture, Shocker, and Mysterio. Um, on the screen, you should see where everyone's located. If you want to get Shuri the quickest, I would recommend Spider-Man, Miles, Rhino, and then probably Green Goblin, and uh, Mysterio, uh, if that's the quickest, I think. And the reason why I say that is because uh, Spider-Man is in the Blitz store, and so is Miles, and so is Rhino. So there's three day, three characters that will take you 54 days. It won't take you that long, but at a maximum, if you get them three times a day, so 15 shards, 54 days, it's not too terrible. Um, and then I would recommend Mysterio. He's in the Raid Orb slash raid store and green goblin has green goblin has his own node he's in nexus i'm pretty sure um i need to check that again but i'm most i'm pretty sure he's in nexus um venom has a node carnage is in the uh war store vultures in arena and shocker has his own node now that's the quickest way but what i would recommend and i'm pretty sure whatever what everyone else rec recommends is sinister six and we will go over sinister six once we get to invisible woman um but as you can see right now uh this is where i'm at i'm probably going to end up using venom and my for next time sure he comes around i'll use spider-man venom rhino miles and green goblin green goblin is at 292 i don't know why the nine's not loading but that is just where um that is that's who i'll end up using just because i think that'll be more available than my sinister six will um so yeah that's pretty much it for shuri um we'll go over sinister six in more depth uh once we get to invisible woman but the next character is phoenix that we're gonna go over so phoenix requires villain mystic controllers uh as you can see these are them hella is a new villain mystic controller but she's not available so what i would recommend is obviously the ones that i have unlocked Mordo's in the arena store, Nobu is a node and he's in the war store, Loki is in a node, Ronin's in the raid orb, and Hand Assassin is in a node. It sucks that Nobu and Hand Assassin are required for this. Um, if you are watching this later on uh, and Hela is more available, go for Hela over Hand Assassin because Hand Assassin is uh, the Oscar the Grouch. Uh, she's in a trash can because uh, she's terrible and so is Nobu. But. Um, so the same thing, my mortal is maxed out. I would keep your arena characters. And by the way, I want to preface this real quick before I forget. To unlock Phoenix, you have to have your characters at six stars rather than five stars. Every other character requires five stars. For Phoenix, the reason why they made it six stars was because uh, they were not going to make money if she, if she was unlocked at five stars. But, um, so you need these characters at six stars. It sucks, but Phoenix, you know, she's a top, she's one of the top four characters in this game. Uh, she's probably right behind Ultron in uh, 
at, like skill. Um, so again, keep your Mordo where your Nobu or your Loki or your Hand Assassin are, whichever one of those is the lowest. Probably honestly going to be Loki because he is all the way in Mystic, all the way towards, I think, in the third stage of Mystic. I don't, I think 3 6. Uh, so he should be, if you, he, on your route to Loki, you will be already farming Nobu and Hand Assassin. Um, so yeah, keep your Mordo there. I just went and finished up Mordo just because. Um, I wish I could show my power level so you guys can see because the um, the event for Phoenix is pretty tough and recommends tier 12, Red Star 4. Now that's not necessarily what everyone would recommend. Um, the I don't think I put, I wish, again, I wish my power level, I'll show my power level up or I'll, I'll flash the numbers up on the screen for where my character's at just so you can use that as a reference. Um, you know, putting putting extra gear into Mordo or Loki or Ronin, I would recommend it. Mordo is going to be a part of that new Supernatural team. Loki is a good Mystic controller and Ronin has his Kree. Um, so I would just say it's not a... it's If you are going to invest gear, invest gear in them. I would say Tier 9 for Nobu and Hand Assassin. As you can see, I have a 5 Red Star Nobu, so that's going to help. I got that recently, which I was like, great, awesome. Um, so, again, this is probably the hardest farm just because these are there are three nodes, node characters that you can go for. But Nobu, you can speed up. Uh, I Again, Nobu's in the War Store. I would recommend Pyro first just because I think Pyro is probably easier to farm. Uh, the War Store is probably easier than node farming. I may be wrong on that, but um, it's whatever you feel like is the best works the best for you. Um, I think that's it for Phoenix. Now let's move on to Invisible Woman. Um, it will look familiar. The reason why this looks familiar is because instead of Spider-Verse, you can only use Sinister Six for Invisible Woman. Why? Again, it makes no sense. It is what it is. Um, so these are the only characters you can go for. There might be a sixth character of the Sinister Six, and who knows if they're easier. Again, Green Goblin's in his own node. Uh, Rhino's in Blitz. Vulture is in Arena. Uh, Pi or Shocker is in a node, and Mysterio is in the uh, in the raid store slash orb. I would tie your Vulture with your your node or whatever, because since he's in the arena store, because again, so I would say like once you get, um, you could even do it this way where you get you know you get your Mordo up to six stars, then you're like okay, I'm gonna work on Juggernaut so I get him to six. It's whatever you you like to do. I would personally like to tie him with my lowest. To, to tie my arena shard farming with my lowest character um you'll probably get ahead of that anyways um so this is all you can use for invisible woman um real quickly the characters that i would go for if i was starting over or would be working towards uh in in the order that i will say them is the first one i would go for is phoenix she's amazing in um she is amazing in arena uh, secondary would be Star Lord, just because because he's great in raids and he was really helpful in Fear the Darkness for me. Uh, then the third and fourth are kind of tied between Nick Fury and Magneto. So whichever one you prefer, if you want to get Ultron quicker, I use Nick Fury Nick Fury for that um, for getting Ultron. So I would say him first if you, that's what you're worried about getting. But if not, then uh, go for Magneto. I use him in Arena every day, even though it's. Uh, even though Phoenix was supposed to get rid of him. So it's whichever your prefer preference is. And then honestly, I would say go for uh, Invisible Woman over Shuri because Shuri really is kind of a letdown for a legendary character, at least for me. Um, as you saw in the past, my shirt, like all my other characters are like tier 10, tier 13. And my Shuri is just sitting there at tier 8. So uh, I really have no use for her. Um, I'm getting through raids pretty easily. So. Um, that's just who I would recommend. I'm sure people will recommend differently. Again, that's just where I would go for. Um, again, I'm free to play. Um, I've spent less than 10 bucks on this game, and it was all like Christmas gift cards that I used. So um, that's what I recommend. Um, I don't think I have any other notes. Uh, I can go over the node characters and who you should go for, really. Um, you should go for Loki, Hand Assassin, and then Mystique. Then you have the three Kree minions, Shocker, and Green Goblin. Those are the node farms I would recommend. Um, and then the Blitz store makes up for the lack of character nodes that you would use to farm for Star-Lord. Um, 
and I think that's it really. Again, six out of the 14 available characters in the raid store are used or required for um, uh, for legendary characters. Um, so yeah, that's just it. Um, I will do another one of these whenever a, um, a new uh, legendary character comes out. That could be Mr. Sinister. Who knows? Uh, he looks pretty overpowered. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the new if Supernatural is needed for him. But uh, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Below me is the subscribe button to the right of the screen is a video that I recommend. And then below that is my most recent upload. Check those out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, and if you think I'm wrong on something, just state it. Like, I, I, I take criticism well. So uh, if you think I'm wrong with what I'm saying, let me know. And I, that I can adjust for the future. Um, but other than that, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.